Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now today we are acting to another clip from Would I Lie To You. And yeah, this was recommended to me by Melvin Sim, as you see up here, the reaction list. We're getting through them guys, and we've been doing quite well recently. We got the last one right, I think we got the one before that right as well. These ones are always a little bit more difficult as there's three people, but you know, we're going to try our best, take our time, analyse what they're saying, and we are hopefully going to come out with the right result. But yeah guys, I hope you are enjoying the Would I Lie To You reactions. I say this every video, if you want me to react to any Would I Lie To You's of your choice, let me know in the comments and I'll add them to the list. I haven't updated it yet because you guys have left me some, but I will and I will get through to them, I promise. And yeah guys, also if you do enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into the reaction. And Our here we go guys. Is called this is my where we bring on a mystery guest who has a close connection to one of our panelists. Okay. This week, each of Lee's team will claim it's them that has the genuine connection to the guest, and it's up to David's team to spot who's telling the truth. So please welcome this week's special guest, Marie. Okay. We don't usually get an explanation of the game from Rob. Interesting he's doing it today. Is what it is. Ashling, what is Marie to you? Uh, this is Marie. She once booked me a stripper and it went so badly that I spent the rest of the night trying to cheer him up. Oh, okay. okay uh, <laughs> June, how do you know Marie? Well, I call her Mari, you see, because Mari is going to play the young Dot in a spin-off of EastEnders called Dot Cotton, The Motorbike Years. <laughs> <laughs> I love a bit of Dot. I love Dot in EastEnders. Okay. What a woman. And finally, what a woman. What's your relationship with Marie? This is Marie. She once asked me to pop into her house to get rid of a spider. Ten minutes later, she asked me to leave because I was making matters worse. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, OK. Ashling's party planner, June's acting apprentice, or Lee's damsel... All very believable Steve stories at this like point. To begin? Uh, Ashling, that yeah, Marie hired you a stripper. Yes, no, she's my friend, she's my best friend. Yeah. Right, and why? That was my birthday party, and there was about forty to fifty people in the room, and uh, then the silence came. And this yeah. wasn't just because people had nothing to say to each other. <laughs> <laughs> there was some it wasn't gone, someone at your yeah. party. Yeah. Someone... <laughs> <laughs> so it goes quiet. Then what happened? And um, out came a fireman. And um, I, I, was in, I was in total shock, and he gave um, a CD of his music to my flatmate. Right. Um, oh, so the CD wasn't already in the CD Oh, player. no, it was. He had given it. So, oh, he had so, given yeah, it, right. and So he didn't come in brandishing it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Try it live. <laughs> no. Track five, move it on to six, I'll get down to my pants. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, it, my flatmate put it into my laptop. And at the time, every time my laptop got a new CD, mm. it, after about seven seconds of music, <laughs> it would all automatically start writing the CD, you know, when it takes on the song. Yeah. yeah. So this fireman came out, I was shocked, and it started going... Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> the music stopped as he was taking off his jacket. Yeah. And I could see it, the sadness in his eyes. Of course. And what happened? He he took out of a banana out of a satchel and started to p peel oh. it. All right. And he was, you know... Easy now. Easy. Yeah, I, take it, slow, I, slow it down a little. I looked at it and I was trying to eat healthier at the time and he gave it to me like this and I just went, oh, thank you very much. Home. <laughs> and he was like, no, you, you weren't supposed to eat it, you are supposed to lick it. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think I'm in the wrong program. Yeah, I, I know, Dot. It's, um, it's getting a... This poor little girl is standing here forever what's it got oh. to do with her I want she to marie know. booked me the stripper and she was also really oh, disappointed you naughty girl <laughs> 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 chipped in a tenor, and Marie had spent ages looking for um, looking for a nice fit policeman, and she opened the door and she was really disappointed because a little bit of a tubby fireman. Oh, that is not what she'd ordered. That's so, harsh. Uh, That's harsh. How did it end? Oh well, after the banana incident, he went for the next bit, which was the whipped cream, and he covered himself in whipped cream. And again, I was trying to eat. I I cut out dairy out of my diet. <laughs> of course, of um, course. He put it on his chest, and and that's covered in baby lotion as well. So I was a bit like that's disgusting mm. because you didn't lick off the the cream 
that yeah. meant that he would have had to take that off, which is the saddest image yeah, yeah. of all just, time. Yeah. The stripper yeah. just upstairs going, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is a very... Do you think that's why he was so tubby? That he was... <laughs> <laughs> I love that from David. I absolutely love that. All right, David. Um, who would you like to move well, on to? So, let's pause it here, guys. So, let's get the story straight. Her friends, the uh, mystery guest in person, Marie, has ordered her a stripper, supposed to be a sexy policeman, a fat fireman, turns up. Believable, happens all the time. Not from my personal experience, but I've heard that it's happened all the time. Um, she eats the banana straight away, just like munches it. Would you though? Would you? I understand that you're saying like you haven't you you're trying to eat more healthy food, so you'll just eat the banana, but surely you'd know, like you surely you've seen this sort of thing before. You'd know what they want you to do with the banana. And then the whipped cream. And then I feel for Dot. Dot, this this uh this innocent this innocent old lady uh comes onto the show and she's been talking about strippers, whipped cream, bananas. Uh yeah. yeah. I'm not inclined to believe it as of yet, but it's a very, it's a very good story. But yeah, let's keep it going. June, what's the broad outline of Dot Cotton, the, the motorbike years? Well, they've done this before, haven't they? They had a young Lou and a young Ethel years and years and years ago, and they decided they'd have a young Dot to show what she was like before she was married. Dot, you see, she knew was apprenticed into hairdressing. And uh, what happened was she used to go around on a motorbike with a sidecar. This was before she married Charlie. She met him, actually, because she nearly knocked him down with the motorbike and the sidecar, and that's unfortunately how she met Charlie. So she used to go around her customers on the motorbike. Can I ask, have they filmed this yet? No, 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 it's, it's about to happen. Oh, I see. They're like. and I don't know how many episodes it'll be. Mm. So what advice did you, you give uh, Marie? Well, I explained about her foibles and her oddnesses, you know, and her precision, her... She's, she's pernickety and she's quite difficult, really. She was quite nasty at the beginning. She'd become so lovely now. I don't know what's happened to her. So, anyway... So... Uh, <laughs> oh, I hope it's true now. So that's really what Which it, it isn't, because mine's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got, got to make that clear, Lee. Got to make that clear. <laughs> Me. How do you know her? Marie lives next door. Well, well, she's she's your next oh, door and that, OK, well, and that's the end door. of Dot's story. Well, um, OK then, like, it's, um, there wasn't really much to go off there, so she's telling the story about Dot's motorcycle years. She was pretty much saying everything, just, like, listing what it's all about. At this point, there's no reason not to believe her. Um, they didn't really give her much of a choice to elaborate on the story, so I'm not entirely sure... We'll just, I'll, I'll be able to decide better after we hear Lee's one. Let's see what you say. Your neighbour's um, nanny. Right. OK. Not, not grandmother, obviously. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> How big was the spider? Uh, the spider was, uh, including the legs. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. The spider was, I would say, about that big with, with, with legs. Well, did she yeah. uh, come round and knock on the door, or how, how did she alert you to the, to the crisis? She, uh, she, she came down, she came round and knocked on the door. And what, what, leaving Fine. the children and the spider <laughs> unattended? <laughs> yes. And what were you doing? I was at home just watching television, you know, just like you do, watching a bit of, watching a bit so of... So what time... Bit what, of EastEnders, as it uh, goes. What, what yeah. time of day was this? It's <laughs> 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 about 7.30 to 8. So it was in the evening. <laughs> and, uh, Marie knocks at the door. Just you go and answer the door. <laughs> yes. What did she say? She said, uh, Lee. She's French. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you must come very quickly. <laughs> Pourquoi? I said. <laughs> <laughs> Pourquoi? <laughs> there is a spider in my house. I'm very frightened. <gasps> May we? I said. <laughs> so, um, I said, uh, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm sort of watching. Dot Cotton, my favourite, you know. I, I don't know this character. I've only just arrived. And last time I was here, it was Dirty Den. I just made light conversation, despite yeah. her distress, despite the fact that she's yeah. leaving unattended children yeah. in a house yeah. with an arachnid. With the, with the spider. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> you, go, you go in the house, yeah. where's the spider? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that is the question. That is the question. <laughs> Who wears the spider, I said. And uh, she said, he's in the bathroom. In the bathroom. 
Bathroom? In the back? No, that's what I said. I said, no, it's bathroom. She went, oh, thank you, I've learned something. The salle de bain. She went upstairs <laughs> yeah. to the bathroom. Yeah. And uh, she said, uh, it's under that thing there. What, what, what thing? There was a, a little corner cabinet. She goes, it's under there, it's under there. So I said, I said, stand back. But I'm actually a bit frightened of spiders. Mm. So I was trying to play it cool, like I'll sort it out, but was terrified of what yeah, I might see. Yeah, yeah. So I... You've got to have a, you've got to have a many, presence. Uh, like brooms and stuff. She, and she passed me the broom. So I, I get the stick and I try and move the thing. And I, as I'm moving the thing, the vase that was on top fell over and smashed. <gasps> Now, that was just the start of my problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet, I bet. Way, have you ever seen that episode of Mr Beam where he tries to catch a spider? No. no. Good, I'll use that then. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, I, uh, so the, the vase smashes. Now, right. now the child comes in, sees oh, me, oh. I panicked, saw the broken vase, mm. saw the child with no shoes on, mm. and just sort of went, whoa, whoa, get out! Like that, bit, bit too assertively, oh, yeah. and the mm. child started crying. Oh, uh. oh why do you make me cry so? so Hang on. Uh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Are they French children? And she went, no, but you know, I'm the parents are never here, so they learned from me. Mm. You may have been caught Three out there. Old, never been to France, he's going, boo hoo. <laughs> what happened then? She shepherds them out like that. So I got a bit more brave and I went over to the thing like that now and I just go for it. I just pull it like that. The whole thing goes over. <laughs> the drawer comes out oh. and things spill all over oh. from the, um, the top drawer. And yeah. there's some awkward things in the top drawer. Oh, okay. I am in, in the bathroom that Marie uses. So it's her Understood. Bathroom. Understood. I don't want to go into detail. I, I don't want to embarrass her. But I'll leave yeah. that video. <laughs> <laughs> We're going into some dangerous territory. Awkward things. Awkward things. Did you actually see the spider? Well, that's the funny thing. No, I didn't. No, but I didn't. you know what right. size it was. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> she told me. She told me. She described the size. <laughs> You did, you did. <laughs> no, I think he's been caught out. He's been caught out. I don't always go, did you see me and Gavin and Stacey? No. Alright, well, is Marie. Let me pause it. Okay, okay. As amazing as that story was. <laughs> and it really was amazing. He's been caught out a couple of times here. Accurately describing the size of the spider with legs and without is a clear indication that he's actually seen it, which he hasn't. And the facts then about the children speaking French. David is such a genius when it comes to this show. And I absolutely love that. But no, um, in such a case where he, I feel like he has been caught out, I may have been wrong. I don't think it's um, the party planner. I think it's a bit of Doc Cotton and the motorcycle years, to be completely honest with you. That's who I'm going to go for. And yeah, let's see who it is. Party planning friend. I just don't Jude's think it's her. The banana thing threw me off. Lee's damsel in distress. Well, I'm pretty sure that Lee doesn't listen to women. No. So, <laughs> um, but what, what do you think? Um, what Lee's saying is obviously... Uh, <laughs> it was just not true, is it? Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> Got cotton, the motorbike years. No, oh yes, no. Ashling's absolutely sold me on this. I can see you struggling with that banana. It's de it's, uh, it's unquestionably. <laughs> <laughs> Marie looks Irish as well. There's something about her that's Irish. Okay, we, we, we think it's I would say the same with our looking friends. Okay, Marie, would you please reveal your true identity? Sorry. <laughs> 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 If she starts speaking French now, it'll be amazing. Je m'appelle Marie, et uh, I booked a uh, stripper for Ashley's birthday. Genuinely for a moment, then I thought, oh, he's me. Yeah, yeah, I thought so too. I thought so too. You're not French, are you? No, I just really wanted that story to be true. <laughs> <laughs> great story it was. Great, great story. 
And what a curveball that was at the end. When she started speaking, it was it Jim Appel Marie, I thought that she was genuinely French and I thought it was Lee and then but she did book a stripper. I feel like my decision was somewhat biased in the sense that I would love to have to see Doc Cotton's motorcycle years. That would be that would be an incredible series to see, wouldn't it? But no, I sort of wanted that to be true, but <laughs> I didn't think I would have said it was Lee more than um, Aislin's Ace, uh, party plan. I, I, I was looking at this title the whole time and I have no idea how to pronounce her name, but yeah, I feel like that's one is going to be, yeah, that's the one, that's the one. But you know, it's all right, guys, it's all right. We, we move on, we move on. Great stories they all were, especially Lee's one. Really liked that one. I just want to see a bit of Doc Cotton's motorcycle years, but you know, it is what it is. But yeah, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Once again, if you do have any recommendations, let me know in the comment section. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next video. Peace.